hello everyone welcome back to another video on crack concepts and in today's video we will be solving another sql query this one is not that complex this one is slightly easier so let's begin with today's query for today's query we have this table called cars which has these following columns car model day and cumulative distance now what this means is there are certain cars we have car 1 car 2 car 3 and these are the models and these are the days day 1 day 2 day 3 and these are the cumulative distance which means on the first day the distance was 100 on day 2 the cumulative distance is 150 which means day 1 plus day 2 the cumulative distance the total distance is 150 for day 3 the cumulative distance is day 1 day 2 day 3 day 1 plus day 2 plus day 3 which is 250 so these are the cumulative distance now what is the question the question is to get the distance for each day so for that the output should be something like this car 1 model 1 day 100 car 1 model 1 day 2 50 why 50 because this is the cumulative distance 150 minus 100 which will be 50 so that should be the output so we need to find the distance per day for each car i think this is slightly easier than all the previous complex queries that i have posted so for now i would highly recommend you pause the video and try to solve the query on your own and then come back and see the answer okay let's write the solution now what we need to do is we basically need to subtract 150 by 100 250 by 150 500 uh, so for car 2 it will be for day 1 it will be 500 for day 2 it will be 550 minus 500 which is 50 so we need to group it by car group it by car and subtract it by its previous value whenever we have to find out previous value we use the function lag so let's do that select car comma let's write cumulative distance comma let's write the lag function lag of cumulative distance over partition by so we need to group it by car order by we need to order it by day day let's give it a name let's give it an alias previous cumulative distance from cars let's run this and this is the output also we can add some parameters to the lag function so the first parameter is the column that you need to use comma second second parameter could be any number if i'm writing one over here which means just minus one what is the value of that particular column so i will write one comma let's add a default value the third parameter is for default value which will be zero in this case let's run this and now out and now our output has changed now we have gotten the previous cumulative distance for car one let's also let's also print day so for each day for day one the previous cumulative distance is zero for day two it is 100 for day three mm -hmm. it is 150 which is right now all we need to do is we just need to subtract this by this cumulative distance minus previous cumulative distance we can do this in the same line and i will change the name let's run this and here is our output for day one the distance is 100 for day two the distance is 50 for day three it is 100 for car 2, day 1 is 500. For car 2, day 2, the value is 50. For car 3, day 1, the distance is 250. 
so here is our output i hope that was clear and if this video was helpful to you in any way make sure to like the video comment down share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel that will help a lot also make sure to check out our ebook our sequel ebook we have gotten a great response on it so go check it out check out our other playlist on the channel thank you so much for watching